All right, Sock Monster fans, I guess I'm on an 80s horror kick. Dead and Buried. Let's watch. Our film starts with a photographer. He's come to this town of Potter's Bluff. His name is George. And he's just uh, taking some photos down by the beach. Into the camera frame wanders Lisa, the actress Lisa Blunt. She takes off her top, beckons him to come over, and the next thing you know, he's getting attacked by a bunch of townsfolk. Welcome to Potter's Bluff. That's gasoline. And that woman lights a match. take pictures of him while he's dying, too. Famous Ferentino, and then Jack Albertson is the local <laughs> funeral director. Turns out the guy's still alive somehow. Right up. That was Robert England there, dining with the sheriff. Now take a look at the Do waitress. Any idea when he might come to? I'm not sure he will. My God, it's just awful. That's the woman who lit the match. Later on, another guy gets attacked by the townsfolk. Dobbs likes putting that bodies back together. The cosmetologist gives birth. I make souvenirs. Dan's wife Janice, played by Melody Anderson. I was joking, you crazy cop. There's no secret. He's George. What's his name? He sells photographic equipment to the school. Anyway, that photographer who didn't die somehow has a new nurse today. That's the girl he met on the beach, Lisa. That's the end of George the Photographer. The highway, uh, highway A family is coming to town, looking, uh, just passing through. Oh my, what a cute little boy. Will they get out alive? Now look at Freddy, the gas station guy. That's George the photographer, and he's alive? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb your dinner. No problem. Happy to help you out. That family has a little accident, so they have to stop for help. They end up uh, walking into somebody's house. Hello? Hello? Comes trouble. to get out of the house and even into their car and even to drive away. Meanwhile, the sheriff has problems of his own. He hits somebody with the car and then the dude's hand and arms still moving. What the hell? Robert England again. Next day, that family car is pulled from the water. You see me back last week. What the tide after the car wreck? I just saw him. <laughs> He's over at Norman Station pumping gas. There's a hitchhiker. This isn't going to end up well. He pulls out his camera, starts taking pictures, and then the townspeople kill her. She ends up in the morgue where Dobbs works on her and does some wonders, I guess. In fact, he fixes her head completely. something weird. In fact, he's found a way to reanimate dead bodies.
that arm, remember on his car? Me. Send it upstate somewhere. But I'm telling you that these bits of flesh have been dead at least three or four months. Well, a little while later, that lab guy is the next victim. This is acid they're pouring up his nose. The sheriff digs up photographer George's coffin. All there is is something wrapped in these. Oh, it's a heart. And now he's taking pictures. Is there any way whatsoever to reanimate people after they have died? And to, uh, to get them to walk around. They find information about Dobbs. Well, in his own house, he finds some Super 8 footage of a man and a woman in bed. It gets worse when he sees that the woman is his wife. He then shows them videos of all the people who've been dying. Apparently his wife died in a car wreck. Oh my god. Hey, Janet was the first. Others. I gave back a little of their lives, but to Janet, I gave her fear and sex and love. The others would fall apart in a week if I could touch them up. But Janet, uh, Janet could go three weeks. And then Ready? Janet comes in. What would you like to do tonight? He ends up shooting her. He ends up taking her to the cemetery. Dobbs is doing something brutal to himself. Dan gets attacked in the cemetery. But gets away. Dobbs shows him the end of that video of his wife. It's him. Let me fix those for you. Alright, let's talk about dead and buried. I just took a shower, so I'm super clean. This is probably one of the cleanest I've ever been for a, for a review. Not that I'm dirty any other times, but I'm especially clean right now. Who cares? Anyway, dead and buried. 1981, James Ferentino, Melody Anderson, Jack Albertson. Um, to me, this is a kind of a hidden gem. Not a... This isn't, I mean, horror, horror fans know about this, but um, some of them don't, you know? So I think this is a cool movie. Let's talk about it. Um, we have this uh, town, some sort of beachside coastal town, where people come into this town and they get killed. Like the first scene in the movie is a photographer. Um, he meets this pretty girl on a beach and she decides to pose for him. She takes off her top. And then as she, he approaches her like they're going to have sex or something. Um... Uh, a whole bunch of other townspeople start attacking and killing this guy. Or not killing this guy, I shouldn't say. They didn't kill him, actually. Um, they put him, they tied him up, put him in a net, they beat him senseless. Then they poured gasoline on him and started him on fire. This seems to be the uh, what happens to people who enter this town. They don't necessarily all die the same way, but they the townspeople kill them, and while they're killing them, they take pictures of them. It's the strangest thing. Um, James Ferentino is the sheriff in this town. Melody Anderson, uh, I remember her from Flash Gordon. She plays his wife. She's a school teacher. And uh, Jack Albertson is the local uh, morgue operator, funeral home director, I guess. Um, he takes great pride in uh, putting bodies back together for open caskets. He hates it when they um, bury 
people without a casket, or I'm sorry, with a closed casket, because he wants to show off his art. Well, anyway, some of the people who have been killed earlier start popping up in town again as if nothing ever happened, but they have different names. Like the guy in the beginning was a photographer. He was His name was George, the photographer. Suddenly he's Freddy, and he works at a gas station. So what's going on? A couple of people noticed that, hey, that's the guy who, who was dead. I saw him pumping gas the next day. What the hell's going on? Well, Jack Albertson investigates. He overhears his wife at the school teaching voodoo, or she teaching about voodoo to the children, to the school children. He thought that was a little odd. At one point, he goes home and he finds this uh, some Super 8 film, a recording, and it turns out there's a woman making love to a man in a bed, and it turns out she starts stabbing the guy, killing him, and suddenly a whole bunch of other people walk in the room too, just like what happens in this town with all the people coming in. And then he sees that it's his wife. Uh, so he's freaking out by this. He runs down to the morgue and talks to, or the, the funeral home, and uh, confronts Dobbs, Jack Albertson. And he says, these are all my people, my children, my creations. Uh, he basically reanimates the dead is what's going on here. They don't, I don't know if they know they're dead or not, but um, he reanimates them so they'll live forever and they look normal. Um, they don't really go into what exactly he does, how he create he does pulls this off, but he does. Um, and then his wife walks in and she's like loopy and just talking as if he's not there. And he he shoots his wife a couple times and she doesn't die. But as she's walking out of the room, she's like, I'm dead. I'm dead. Bury me. Please bury me. So he goes out to the cemetery and buries her. And then he gets attacked by a bunch of the other cemetery people. He runs back to the um, funeral director and there's Dobbs and Dobbs says there's one other thing you need to see and then he shows film the same film that he was watching earlier of his wife and it turns out the guy that was making love to her is the sheriff we see his face and so he starts to freak out because then he realizes he's dead too his hands are all messed up and the last line in the movie is let me fix those for you anyway cool movie I, I saw I, I've had this taped for many many years probably since 1985 or 6 or so I don't think I actually watched it until the early 90s though when I retaped it onto an SP speed tape and I really enjoyed it I thought it was quite a film and I've really enjoyed it ever since I haven't seen it a ton of times in my life but it's a really cool flick I was listening to a podcast about a year ago when they reviewed this movie and they thought it was a piece of shit I was really mad at that. You fuckers. This was a cool movie. I really like this. And I think those in the horror community who have seen it really like it too. So fuck you, podcast. Anyway, Dead and Buried. Cool movie. I'm sure you've all seen it. And I'd like to hear what you think about it. I think it's been available on Blu-ray too. Uh, this is the uh, Blue Underground uh, double disc here. Uh, I don't know how many they made, but uh, you can see there I have number 27,107. So, but anyway, cool movie. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. It's uh, Dead and Buried. Watch it.